So I want to try to install my headers myself. So I'm kind of just looking at everything in here, try to figure out what I'm going to have to remove or at least get out of the way. Um, first thing that I really see is we got the coolant line right here um, to disconnect. And that way we could uh, get this pipe right here, bolts on right there and right there. And that might be enough to be able to just kind of hopefully give it enough room to move out of the way. Also, there's a heat shield right here. I could see where it bolts on there. And then feeling underneath, there's some stuff there too. So one right there and one right there. Might be difficult to get to um, unless you remove your wheel and tire. And then once that heat shield's out of the way, then there's actually another heat shield right there where it says hot um, that will need to be removed and that will get me to the header. Uh, I'm hoping that I'm not really going to have to move the ABS lines or anything like that. Uh, I'm probably going to look at a couple videos to figure out what to do. Um, but yeah, I'm going to disconnect the battery and remove this uh, coolant pipe right here and try to remove the heat shields for now. Uh, not really going to record that. If I run into issues, I'll shoot another little video to add on to this. But uh, that's where I'm going to start. Undo this. I'm going to just move this out of the way. Undo those two right there. And then uh, if you look back, uh, let's see. If you look back right there, hard to see in the camera, but there's another one of these clips that hold this pipe on. So I'll be able to move this whole pipe out of the way. And that should give me a lot more access to everything. So I'm going to go ahead and start that now. All right, so a little update on progress. I'm kind of just letting you guys know uh, what's going on so far. So I tried to remove this shield right here. Right there, there's a 10 millimeter bolt that comes through. Over here, there's a 10 millimeter nut that goes through. And right there, that's the other side of a 10 millimeter bolt that I can't get to. And the next thing uh, that I took off was this. Um, it was uh, a 10 millimeter, I believe. I could be wrong. 12 millimeter. Well, I removed this from there and there. And that kind of just freed up enough room for me to be able to move that out of the way. The next thing that I removed, there was a heat shield that was over here. And there was one, two, three, uh, four millimeter uh, nuts that are bolts that went through there. And then uh, I needed to get to this O2 sensor there, and it's kind of hard to get to it from above. So um, I went ahead and lifted the vehicle up and removed my wheel. And now I have access to the O2 sensor that's right in there. Uh, that's the wire right there with the springs on it. That's where it clips in. And then that's where the other O2 sensor clips in is right there also. So what I'm just going to do is unclip the two sensors and that should free up the room to just drop them. And since that uh, this is up now, I'll have access to um, where the header, let's see, where is it? Right there where the header disconnects, right there. So that's where I'm at so far. Uh, it's probably been about 30 or 40 minutes just to get to this point. All right, so here's where I'm at so far. Um, I finally got all the nuts off the headers. Uh, all of them took about a half to maybe a full turn um, before I could just loosen them with my hand. The top three, one right there, one right there, and the one in the back back there, um, those weren't too uh, hard to get to. Um, but the rest of them, the four on the bottom, definitely a little harder to get to. Things that I had to do is uh, I bent this up a little bit. And that's attached to the header, and it's part of your heat shield. So if you're replacing it, I mean, bending that out of shape won't be that big of a deal. And then this one back there, kind of below this guy right here. You can just see the center of the camera. Uh, that's the one that gave me the most trouble. Uh, they're 15 millimeters. That's what I was using. Uh, I was maybe getting an eighth of a turn. Um, I got enough eighth turns that I finally was able to uh, hand loosen it. And what I did is I 
use a wrench coming straight through the header right there once it was loose enough and then I actually went from below um, and then had uh, a ratcheting wrench from below turning maybe about an eighth an inch but it was a little easier uh, that guy back there wasn't too hard at all it's just a matter of lining it up and then you could see there's another one back there that one wasn't too bad at all either but these two the ones that are underneath the um, heat shield attachment points those were the biggest pain to get to so now that I got it all disconnected up here the next step for me is to come down here and I'm gonna disconnect the O2 sensors uh, right in the center of the camera you could see the black box that's where the O2 sensors plug into the next I need to disconnect uh, the mid pipe so right there is the mid pipe um, they should just uh, loosen up those two bolts um, and then I'm hoping that with those two bolts loosened up and the O2 sensors disconnected from the terminal end not necessarily the exhaust end I could snake this thing out um, but that's how it's gonna be I'm gonna go ahead and try to loosen these now all right, so the video cut out, but basically what I was trying to tell you is that the only way I could get access to these two nuts is if I um, remove the mid pipe. So I got it disconnected down there uh, at the muffler and I removed it from the hanger. Right now it's kind of just caught up on this X brace. Uh, if I take that X brace off, then the mid pipe will come out. But by taking off the mid pipe, what I did is I gave myself uh, better access into there. And let's see if I can get it to focus. Right there, those two nuts that are right in the center of the screen, I need to be able to loosen. So now I should be able to get to that uh, without the mid pipe getting in the way. All right, as you can see, I got the header in. Um, but not without a few issues. Um, right here, you can kind of see if there's like little metal shavings in places. Right there, uh, I had to clearance it. Um, it was not enough room. You could see there's obviously like an inch of room there now, but I didn't have enough room to get the header in without clearancing um, a little bit. Uh, all I really removed was the nut that would hold the heat shield that goes there. Um, i still be able to attach the heat shield using the back bolt and then the nut that goes right here right in the center um, and then I had to take out the O2 sensors in order to get access or have enough room to wiggle it in there so right now I have all the nuts on hand tight um, I'm going to put the O2 sensors in and then tighten everything up all right so I have it completely installed um, I put the heat shield uh, for the ABS system back on and then I got all of the bolts in and I got the O2 sensors in and plugged in. Uh, the only thing I need to do now is hook up the mid pipe. Um, let's see what time is it right now. I'm trying to figure out how long it took me. I would say that if I would have not ever stopped and just continued to work and if I had one more body with me, this is about a four hour job. I'm um, sure now that I know how to do it, I can do it a lot quicker. Uh, some tips that I would let you know is uh, remove all the O2 sensors. That's going to make it easier. Uh, remove as much of the heat shields as you can. Make sure you undo the two bottom bolts that mount to the engine. And then if you're doing the alpha header from Skunk 2, make sure you clearance that area. Uh, after you do that, uh, everything should uh, go in pretty smooth. Um, I know this wasn't the best how-to video, but hopefully you guys have an understanding of uh, how to put it in and what it looks like now that it's in. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.